welcome back to another N4 learning channel someone sent me an email with regard how do I do my 3D graphics so I'm going to go through this from start to finish hopefully it won't take that long so I've, I've just gone on to Google looking for images so I've just put in heat pump there you can put anything you want but I've just put look for a heat pump so I'm looking now for images for a heat pump I think we will go with this one here so I'm going to save that graphic save image as heat pump and click on that and save image as heat pump okay so now let's look at these images so these are the two images and what we're going to do is we're going to have it when it's not working that particular image here and then when it's working we're going to have this uh, coil showing so let's open up workbench 4.10 log into our station we go to files nothing in files at the moment so we'll make a new folder heat pump image HP image we we'll then go into our file system in drive C and it's going to be users office downloads and these are the two images copy put into heat pump image and the files of the station so they're both in there now I'm just going to rename them in a little bit so heat pump off if that is heat pump off yes it is and rename heat pump on and then we will make a new px page so normally when I'm doing PX pages I would attach it to a folder I'm just going to put a new folder in here at the moment and we'll just put heat pump and I'm going to go into the folder and just put a numeric writable enable set that to false just take out in 16 I always, I always go in on in 10 we can change that to enable and that to disable you now you could use on and off whatever you wanted to now we're going to make a PX so I'm going to just right click on that folder views new view and we're just going to call it heat pump HX media it's already done the PX heat pump for me there I'm going to leave that as it is so this is my heat pump image so I'm going to take off the heat pump which is off at the moment that's really too big so right click new picture I'm going to select now the picture from the files files on station heat pump image heat pump off okay so that's my heat pump off image I'm going to attach the point to it that I've just made so I click into the image plus value binding select the point 
component chooser drivers heat pump heat pump enable okay okay but I'm gonna go back into this again and I'm going to animate that oh, let me just copy that first control key C animate it it's right, already done it there put the, the other one is the heat pump on so we've got that the opposite, opposite way around so that's off and that is on okay okay so that's our image there now we're going to switching it on actions set and we'll put it to enable and that's the same image but it's showing the coil running so it's, there's no moving parts as, as, as such but it's showing that that is on now if you wanted to I presume what we could do is we could go into kit and 4 and we can look for probably under miscellaneous and UI elements icons I don't think it's under icons won't be under LEDs let me find out where it is status icons spin that would do put that there and then what we can do with that is we can tie it to the same point value binding component chooser driver's heat pump that and then we can either make it animate it so that we make it invisible when it's not on so there you've got it spinning around there and then we turn it off set to disable that's then gone off and so you just left with the heat pump picture there and of course you can add, then add pipes to it you can do whatever you want so you can put pipes into here in and out one going one way one going another and we can basically bring that point across if you wanted to and animate it so that background give it a border if you want to but we won't bother just put that there delete that and then I can right click that I can set that to enable and it's on we can change that so that when it's enable we've got a different color and we can change that font animate when it's enable and we can actually have the font slightly bigger set disable it's now off we can also take that point this heat pump enable views AX slot sheet highlight them config flags make them hidden so now when you right click that you've only got the set command coming up enable maybe you don't want to right click and you just want to click on it so for that we would go into PX 
we would take an action button across we take the value we put it in there and we do component chooser and we change that to set at the end then we add another one value binding and we just put the value in there without the set and then animate the text we put out value there we can still make the background status simple background and then we can just put white in there delete that move that across to there take it out of edit mode now I'm just going to left click on that so I've got the pop up box so I can select that's now enabled disabled as simple as that now if we want to put some pipes on it let's just move that up to somewhere there away from these pipes these these here for the flow and returns and we can go into kit graphics kit pxm4 svg and we should be able to go to piping large piping and we use supply first I want that one um, no. just see what a horizontal one looks like Sure. Mm, I don't know, it probably work. Return. pressing the control key down as I was moving that up with the up, up arrow just to position it find positioning basically I mean you could put some bends on it I suppose so flow in return flow out return enable it you could put arrows on there that come on direction arrows link it to value bind it component drivers heat pump and we can either do the animate that see what it looks like first so that's enabled that's disabled doesn't really change so what we're going to do here now is animate the
enable it. Arrow comes up there. Keep it enabled. Um, duplicate. Pressing control, down arrow a couple of times. Position it, try to position it into the middle of the pipework. Put that up a bit more. And then the right arrow. Just take that information. It's all on the same value. The same ord. And then make the visible. False. Duplicate that. Enable. Disable. Enable. I don't like that white bit being in there, so let's just move that box around a bit. So that gives you some idea of how to take a graphic, 3D graphic, and place images, two different images, onto it. Okay, thanks for watching. If you like the video, can you subscribe, please? Thank you.